For those of you who have never installed one of these before, this is how you install either the Thermalright Peerless Assassin, PS120, Phantom Spirit, or any other version of Thermalright Cool Art that looks like this. This is how you install it. So the first thing you need to do is remove the standard mount, whether it is Intel or AM4, it is very similar. The principle is exactly the same. You just have to remove your standard mount first and install the one that they supply. So we're going to do that now. So this is the AM4 slash AM5. Even though it doesn't say AM5, on the mounting hardware, it only says AM4. AM4 and AM5 use the exact same mounts, so don't be confused with that. Remove these four screws. Set them aside in case you do plan to go back to your standard AM4. Now, you need to install your stands, right? It doesn't matter which way these go on, you can put them on either way, let me just show you. That sits on that way, and it also sits on the other way as well. Grab your mounting hardware with the thread on it, and make sure it curves in towards the CPU. Then grab your four screws, and install them. Now, in order to get your cooler to mount symmetrical, make sure that you do try to align your threads completely straight. That's going to help. Okay. Try to center it as best you can. So now we want to see that our thread is straight. And yes it is. We do a quick test fit before we decide to fully install it. Now it doesn't matter how you mount this, but I always like to follow the writing of the RAM. Okay, let's just make sure that our thread holes do line up. Make sure it does fit. Okay, that thread's in. And that thread's in as well, as you can see. So that's perfect. It looks straight. It looks symmetrical. That's exactly where we're going to install it. So let's remove this now and add some thermal paste. Make sure you do peel off your protective sticker for this. It's so important. A lot of people tend to forget to do that. Make sure you do that. Now I'm just going to use some thermal compound MX4 Arctic. We're just going to do a simple dollop in the center. Just like that. And believe me guys, that will spread out to all edges of the CPU with the applied pressure from the dual tower itself and once it heats up, it will spread. Grab yourself a screwdriver and start to fasten it down. Now when you go to fasten this, make sure you just do a few threads each side until it stops. Once it stops, you know that you have fastened it all the way down. Okay, that has stopped. And that has stopped as well, perfect. And there you go, that is your CPU cooler completely installed. And it's very secure, you could even pick it up from the cooler, just be careful. All that's really left is to install your fans. Now, I've just gone ahead here and put some zip ties around the cables just to make it tidier, but you don't have to do that, you can do it after. Now, I'm going to install the fans. The way that they have said to install this is to put one in the center and then one on the right. This way, it pushes all the hot air from the cooling fins out the back of the case and exhausts it out of the case. So, that's how we're going to install it, because this is the recommended way. However, if for some reason you don't like the way that it covers your RAM, you could always install it like this. Now, one thing I will point out is that it will make a little bit of sound due to how the fan is mounted here. It has a little bit of turbulence because of the fan being so close to the cooling fin. That's why they do recommend to install it this way. That way, it is never against the cooling fin and it is only on the side where the bracket is and that side will be against the cooling fins. So that's how you want to install it. So we will follow the way Thermalright have said to install it, even though it doesn't look the best in my opinion, but it is the recommended way. You can either have it sitting straight on your RAM, that's fine, or lift it a little bit if you want it to not be sitting on your RAM. But you can have it sitting on the RAM, it's fine. It will also help to cool it as well, drawing hot air away from it. Then, once you have it on, just simply clip it over the cooling fins. I'll show you again on this side here. You put these through, and then you just push it over the cooling fins, just like that. Do the exact same thing to the other one. Like that. Lift it to the exact same height as the other one and then clamp it down. Lastly, the one on this side here. There we go. And now I will get it exactly the same height as the other one. There we go. Have a look at it from this side. Make sure it is the same, same height and it is centered. Go, perfect. Now 
Yep, that's good enough. That is how you install the Thermalright air cooler. Whether it is the Phantom Spirit or the Peerless Assassin, the way you install it is exactly the same. With your fan cables, they do offer you a splitter for this. So let's grab our splitter, plug that in, plug these two in, and then our finally our 5 volt 3 pin. All right, so this is how the cable comes. It has a PWM that comes off each fan and also a 5 volt 3 pin with a splitter that comes off each fan. What you want to do here is use the splitter that they give you for the fan. This is for your PWM connector. Plug one into each side, like so. And then for your 5 volt 3 pin RGB, plug one into the other. Just line up your pins and then plug that in. Now, because you've already connected one to the other, you only have to worry about plugging in one of the connectors because this daisy chains to the other one. Very similar to the splitter cable, how they both plug into one plug. So now all you have to do is plug this into your motherboard. So usually this will go into CPU fan number one, which is right here. You line the tabs up here with the tab on the CPU fan one and just plug that in like so. Now, in this case here, this motherboard doesn't have any 503 pins on the top. It only has one on the bottom. So there's two 503 pins down the bottom here. And I can also see that they've got one 12 volt four pin. So what you wanna do in this case is route it inside your case and bring it around to the bottom and plug it in like so. And that is how you connect the thermal right air cooler to your motherboard. If you're using a hub, you could plug that into the hub, but that is how you connect it so that it works. Now I'll build this PC and show you guys how it looks in the end. Fans aren't symmetrical, so I will lift it up so it looks more symmetric. Okay, so now when you look at the fans, you wanna see that they are at the same height. If they're not, just lift it until it looks like it's the same height. That way it looks very symmetric. There we are. And that is how you install the Thermalright air cooler for your AM4 slash AM5 motherboard. Now, like I said, if it was for Intel, all you're going to do is use the Intel mount instead of the AM4 mount. But the principle of how it goes together is exactly the same. The only difference is it's a little bit further apart because it is now an Intel mount. And you also use the Intel backing plate as well. And that's it guys. That's how you install the Thermalright air cooler, whether it's a Peerless Assassin or the Phantom Spirit or any other version that looks just like this with a dual tower. So I really hope you found this video helpful guys and it gives you a better idea of how the Thermalright air coolers are installed. Thank you very much for watching and be sure to follow along for more PC tips, builds and reviews. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. Bye for now guys.